Hi traders, thanks for stopping by the tradinganalyst.com. This is Taylor and we're going to take a look at several stock charts here and I'm going to give my analysis and thought process and hopefully you come away from this video with some newfound knowledge on technical analysis as well as some profitable trade ideas here on these individual names themselves. But first, if you're not already a member, go ahead and visit us on the homepage www.thetradinganalyst.com com and get to know us a little bit better if you like the free videos and analysis we give to you on a daily basis it's nothing compared to the membership at the trading analyst.com once you sign up you're going to be able to take part in the professional chat room the daily watch lists the real-time profitable trade alerts that are not only given in the live chat room but also for those of you that have full-time jobs part-time jobs or maybe you just can't be in front of the computer screen all day long, you're still going to get those profitable trade alerts via text message and email. You're also going to get the exclusive daily member videos, webinars, and an education from mentors like myself who truly care about your success in the market. It's a great opportunity, and we'd love to help you. All right, so let's get into these charts here. The first one we're going to take a look at is Apple. And I want to point out a couple things here on Apple. Overall, on Apple, we did break this trend line right here. There's a touch. There's a touch. Here's a touch. Okay, so we're still below this trend line. But as you can see, and I'm just going to extend that out a little bit here as we are moving uh, further along in price. So, But in the very short term right here, does look like Apple is going to continue higher here as we've broken over this resistance right here. So now about $11 is going to be that support here overall on Apple. I do think we're going to head higher. Most likely we're going to come up here and test these levels around about 113 to 114 is going to be that level that I think is going to be tested here on Apple in the coming days so that's some levels here that you want to keep your eye on here for Apple the next one we're going to take a look at is Netflix and Netflix you can see here nice break higher today and I'm gonna draw this little box right here that we can use so right there you can see Netflix was trading in this box between about 116.60 to about uh, 112 50 okay so it's about a four dollar range right here more than likely we're going to come up here and test this level up here at about 121.70 you can see that this was definitely a level here it was resistance here support 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 another touch another touch finally broke through it right there but you can see several touches along that level so that's going to be the next resistance level here on netflix and we're more than likely going to retest that. The next one we're going to take a look at is Facebook. In Facebook, similar action here. You can see a nice higher volume day today, well above the average. Just to give you an example, today is 35.4 million shares traded. And you can look over here on an average day. Uh, the volume right here is 13 million. So about three times the volume we got today that you normally see. So about 119 is that level that you want to use as support for Facebook. And the next level of resistance, which we're more than likely going to retest, is that 124.20 level up here. So 119 to 124, definitely think we're going to head higher here and touch that 124.21 level. The next one we're going to take a look at is Amazon. And Amazon, you can see here, the next resistance level is right around 790. Okay, We don't have that good of a, a support level anywhere near on uh, Amazon. You can draw one a little bit right here at about 746, 745 right here. A couple of candles touched there. But as you can see, we've just kind of gone straight up here for the last couple of days. So you really want to focus on this main level up here of resistance, about 790. The next one we're going to take a look at is Twitter. And Twitter, you can see here, we had a nice little 
uh, breakout here, or what looked to be like a breakout. But as you can see here, we're not really holding that breakout very well. Uh, obviously, we're still above this uh, 1815 level here. Um, but as far as the price action here, I'm not really liking it that much. Um, of course, that could all change tomorrow or the next day, and we could get some kind of a, a nice green candle with a higher volume, something like that. But as it stands right now, not really a strong breakout. Okay, We broke out over this range. You can see 1815, uh, but it hasn't really gone anywhere since then. Okay, I personally like my breakouts to break out. Um, and have maybe one or two touches and then blast off from there. So it would have been nice if it would have continued right there, but we didn't really do that. And you can see it's kind of petering out right here. With that said, we're still holding this 1815 level, and that's the level that bulls want to see hold. You also want to see this uptrend line hold. If the uptrend line does not hold and this 1815 level does not hold, we're more than likely going to be headed lower here, and t uh, Twitter is going to be a nice short. The next stock I want to take a look at is GoPro. In GoPro here, you can see us forming a nice little support here about uh, just below $10, between about $9.75 to about $10. You can see how many touches we've gotten against this level. In Bulls, you want to see it hold this level, and you want to see some kind of a reaction, maybe a uh, hammer here where it breaks below and then it closes above. And if it does that, we can have a nice little upside breakout or maybe just a nice green candle with some higher volume. So you want to look for some higher volume here earlier in the day or maybe even at the end of the day tomorrow or the next day, any day coming up here soon uh, to look for an upside breakout on GoPro. If it breaks below this 975 mark uh, and holds below it rather than hammering above it like I mentioned earlier, then that's going to be a nice short and more than likely is going to come down here and retest this 875 level. You can see that we bounced off of several times right there. Thanks for stopping by and watching the video, everyone. Again, if you're not already a member, visit us on the home page. Get to know us a little bit better. If you like the free videos and analysis we give to you on a daily basis, it's nothing compared to the membership at the tradinganalyst.com. The best part is, once you sign up, you're going to get instant access to those profitable trade alerts that members are getting on a daily basis. It's a great opportunity, and we'd love to help you.